I often get asked in my Raspberry Pi tutorial videos why I've used the full desktop version of Raspberry Pi OS when the project is intended to be run without a monitor or external display connected, and there's actually quite a simple answer. I use the full desktop version because I use a screen recording utility running in the background to capture the screen contents for the tutorial. Although it looks a bit odd to immediately open up a terminal window and do the whole setup from there, it works pretty well as you can then follow the tutorial in either version of the operating system. It does however have one pretty significant drawback, and that's that it uses a bit of the Pi's processing power in the background to capture the screen contents. It also slows down the read and write speed to the SD card or SSD in the process, as the Pi is continually writing to it. This goes unnoticed for general command line inputs, but if you're running any speed tests or benchmarks then they'll end up being affected by the screen recording, which is obviously not ideal. The other issue is that I can only start recording once the desktop is reached, so I can't include any initial setup or boot up footage or prompts. So when Cloner Alliance asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing their new UHD Pro video capture box, it definitely caught my attention. I've tried using a video capture card in the past, but these become messy because you need a second computer to record the video, and there's usually a significant amount of latency involved, meaning that the inputs made on the power only show up on the video output on the secondary computer after a second or two which makes it almost impossible to work with. The Clone Alliance UHD Pro addresses all of these issues in the form of a standalone device that sits between the video source and the monitor, allowing you to capture 4K video with very low latency directly to a USB attached drive. In fact, it's ideal for gamers on consoles and even computers as you don't need to run any capture software in the background, so your processor and graphics card are fully dedicated to the game you're playing. It also has provision for audio and microphone inputs, and has a USB interface for live streaming. With all that said, let's get it unboxed and have a look at how it works. Included in the box, you've got the Clone Alliance UHD Pro. A remote control which is pretty basic but has all the functions you need including arrows and buttons for navigating the menus, a set of buttons to control the video capture and playback, and some audio controls. You've also got an HDMI cable, a micro USB cable, a power adapter, and a quick start guide. Taking a closer look at the capture box, on the front you've got 3.5mm audio ports for line in, line out, and microphone as well as three buttons, one for the compression mode, one to capture still frames, and the last to start and stop recording. On the right side we've got a USB Type-A port to plug in a storage device, and a micro USB port to plug into a computer if you'd like to capture video directly, or use the box for live streaming. On the back you've got your HDMI in and out ports, as well as a power supply input and a power button. The bottom of the case is raised with rubber feet and is vented to provide some cooling. Setup is really straightforward. You just need to plug in a fast storage device like a USB 3 flash drive or SSD. Then hook up your source and monitor to the HDMI ports and plug in your power supply. When you switch it on, you'll notice a green or blue LED band around the rim, which is used to indicate the compression mode being used. The logo also lights up green or blue to indicate 1080p or 4K output and recording resolutions. Once your computer, console or set-top box is running, your display will look exactly the same as it does without the UHD Pro except that you'll now be able to hit record on the remote control and a side panel will show up temporarily to display the recording settings. The contents of your screen are then being recorded, indicated by a small red icon in the top left. This icon can also be turned off. You can also access a range of overlaid settings menus with the remote control. This is where you can also schedule recording so that you don't miss any live TV or sporting events. I tested the Clona Alliance UHD Pro on a number of devices, including obviously one of my Raspberry Pis, my Apple TV and Xbox, and they all worked right away without any issues. 
The capture box also records any sound being provided over HDMI as well. There is one limitation to its 4K recording ability, and that's that it can only record 4K video at 30 frames per second. It'll allow inputs of 4K 60 frames per second, and it supports pass-through of the full 4K 60, so it won't interfere with your frame rate for gaming, but it'll only capture up to 30 frames per second. Alternately, you can configure it to record at 60 frames per second, but at a reduced 1080p resolution. You may have noticed when we were looking at the buttons on the front that the UHD Pro supports H.265 video compression. This more modern compression standard dramatically reduces the file size of the videos without any reduction in quality. This is particularly useful when you're recording 4K video or when you're streaming on a subscription plan where your data usage matters. Because it just requires an HDMI input, it also works well with older platforms. So the UHD Pro Video Capture Box is also ideal for capturing retro games as well as creating digital copies of old VHS tapes or DVDs. When you're done recording, you can also play back your footage directly from the device, so you won't have to wait to get onto a computer first. Let me know what you think of the Clono Alliance UHD Pro in the comments section. I'll leave a link to it in the video description if you'd like to get your own. I'm definitely looking forward to being able to make more comprehensive tutorials with it. So consider subscribing if you'd like to follow my upcoming projects. Thanks for watching and please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it.